Hello, this is a demo of my reverse engineered Steam VR track device. Um, right here I've got a bit of perf board with four 120 degree field of view infrared photodiodes on it. Um, they're labeled F, C, L, and R, and they're in a tetrahedral configuration. So the F, L, and R sensors are in a plane, the C sensor is out of that plane, that allows the device to determine its orientation even in degenerate cases where two sensors lie on the same ray from the lighthouse. The lighthouse is over here. This is the one of the two lighthouses provided with the um, HTC Vive. As you can see, um, this camera does not have an infrared filter on it, so you can see the bright panel of LEDs on the upper left there, and then the glancing spots from the two uh, laser guns. So as I move around, you can see those spots follow the camera. Um, so basically, what's happening here is that um, these four sensors are detecting the pulses, both synchronization and sweep, from this lighthouse. And uh, the FPGA over here, it's a Spartan 6 FPGA on a Mojo V3 board, um, is running a software phase lock loop to align against the 120 hertz reference pulse coming from the LED panel there. Um, the FPGA is then performing timing capture to determine the delta T's for the horizontal and vertical sweeps of each sensor. Um, those values are buffered on the FPGA and then read over into this Cortex M4 development board over here um, over SPY. Um, this microcontroller then executes um, an iterative solver to compute the position and orientation of the device from the measured um, rays, and the output is being displayed in this Python program over here. So the um, calculated position orientation is sent as a 4x4 matrix um, to capture both rotation and uh, translation um, over uh, serial to this Python script, and the script is then rendering uh, this little visualization of the device state. So this little orange uh, um, line drawing over here represents the uh, four sensors um, over here. So you can see that if I move the device up and down, the target in the rendering moves up and down. I can move it left and right, in and out, away from and towards the lighthouse. I can also rotate it um, in any direction. Um, and it tracks. Now um, there are some slight glitches. Um, I think there are some issues with the performance of the spy, um, some dropped bits here and there um, that cause some problems. Uh, there's also um, some issues I think with my Verilog implementation that uh, cause some of the signals to glitch sometimes. Um, but uh, with some compensation in software to try and strip out the bad data frames, um, I'm able to get a relatively performant and relatively accurate uh, position and orientation from this device. Now something to note is that um, this device, unlike the uh, real Steam VR devices, like this um, HTC Vive handheld controller here, um, this device does not have an inertial measurement unit. So all of the position and orientation information is being extracted directly from the timing information from this light field coming from the lighthouse. Um, with the addition of an IMU, I would be able to, first of all, discriminate between the horizontal and vertical sweeps um, without uh, having to explicitly tell the system which one is which. Um, I'd also be able to uh, detect errant data frames or errant solutions from the solver. Um, by comparing against the integrated sensor values. Um, so overall, the system performance would, would go up um, if I uh, were to include an IMU. Um, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, I decided not to. Um, and the performance is, is not bad at all. Um, well, it's fallen into a little set point there, but if I jiggle this around a bit, maybe it'll... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now it's back. Yeah. Um, that's... That's about it. Thanks for watching.